Hey guys, James with Esprit Tech Jetty USA. If you remember in the last video, I showed you how you could set the rotational rates way up on the Ditec servos for those of you who need to use it as a winch or using a uh, cable return system. Uh, now we want to go ahead and show you how you would copy one servo setup all the way across the line of servos that you're using. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and first I'll show you how the servos are currently programmed. Uh, about the same in one direction. Uh, but very different in the other. So we'll go ahead and click that back, let those return to center, and we'll go ahead and pull the primary servo that we want to copy. We want to copy this short travel servo over. So what we're going to do is we're going to unplug that servo, and go ahead and plug it into the Ditex software. Uh, once it connects, we'll read that servo so that we can get the data from it. Um, looks like there were some changes from last. Okay, so everything is stabilized. This is exactly how we want it. Actually, we want to go ahead and bump up the rotational speed. I'm going to click program. So this is how I want all of my servos to behave. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on save. If you double click or you click too fast, it'll go back away and you'll need to click it again. I'd ask you if you want to save, so you go ahead and click save. It'll pull up a file, and we're going to go ahead and go name that 1609.2. I'm going to save that to my desktop, and we'll go ahead and click Save. So now what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and unplug that servo, plug that back into the receiver, and we want to go ahead and copy that over to our next two servos. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the first servo. Uh, it's going to read that servo. And we're going to go ahead and click open. Um, brings up another screen. You tell it to open again. Now we're going to go ahead and look and see if we can find 1609.2 uh, Ditex. So once we have that, we'll click open. And you'll see that all of the servo programming has been matched. Now we're going to go ahead and click program so it's written to the servo. Once you finish that, you can unplug that, go on to the next servo. And we're going to say it follows the same program here. We're going to read the servo. Let that go through, make sure everything's locked down. And we're going to click on open. We're going to bring up our 1609.2. We're going to open that program. We're going to click program on the Ditex software so that it writes that to the servo. Once that's written, we can go ahead and unplug that one again. Plug both servos back into the receiver. And we'll go ahead and operate that control so that you can see that all of those servos are matched as they should be. For their travel, you'll notice that the centers have changed. Uh, this is another opportunity for you to go back to that uh, servo centering video, but we'll go ahead and plug in one of our servos. We'll click disengage. Now what happens when you click disengage is it allows you to move the arm freely. Once you've got it into the place you want, you click set neutral. It'll memorize that position and you can click engage. And we'll go through and we'll do that on both of the two newly configured servos. We're going to read the new one. We'll go ahead and click disengage. Set our new position. Click set neutral. Click engage. And we've programmed that new center point on the servo. So now all three of our servos, not only are the travel limits and speeds the same, but the rewritten centers are the same as well, uh, give or take a few millimeters. And now you've got them perfectly unified again. Uh, this was James again, and if you have any questions on anything you've seen in these videos, just reach out to us here at Esprit Tech or Jetty USA.